Hi, this video explains brute force based concept learning. The base theorem used to calculate the posterior probability of each hypothesis given the training data D. Based on this, the base learning algorithm calculates the probability for each possible hypothesis, then outputs will be most probable solution most probable solution assume the model base learner considers some finite hypothesis space h that means if we have hypothesis space h which is having finite numbers h1 h2 h3 so finite number of hypothesis here we are having the three hypothesis so finite hypothesis space defined over the instance space x that means given data set x instance space examples okay given number of samples given training samples are x in which task is the given problem is to learn the target concept c target concept means here labels target concept means labels and the label will be either 0 or 1 so each training sample will be uh, giving the label so for here our data set may be like this so here uh, each data set will give you the label so label will be calculated from the x x is x1 x2 x3 features so capital x is the features here it is having the feature 1 feature 2 feature 3 uh, right so number of here from the number of features we can calculate the hypothesis so here for example which is 1 to uh, 0 0.5 it will be 0 or 1 so second sample uh, 0 0.5 uh, 0.2 which is 1 so the data set which is having the instance space that is instance space means number of features x this is target concept c target concept c which is having either 0 or 1 let consider training samples uh, so training samples here you look at that this is the training sample 1 so training sample 1 training sample 1 which is giving the d1 so d1 is the target concept okay d1 is the target concept so here uh, this 0 is called d1 uh, entire uh, all features together is called uh, x1 okay all features is called x1 then all features are called x2 this one is called x2 this one is called d2 so like that we are taking the pair of features and corresponding target value label so like that m number of samples m number of corresponding uh, label output so that is the thing so the label output is called target of the feature xi we can be written in the form of c of xi so c means concept learning c means concept learning so simplify it data set can be written yes you see the x is the number of samples x is the number of samples here so x12 xm m number of samples m number of samples so all the samples are having corresponding labels so labels are d1 to dm d1 to dm so based on this we can calculate the maximal posterior hypothesis using the bayesian theorem so from the finite hypothesis h space finite hypothesis space h calculate the posterior probability probability of h given d this is the posterior probability this one prior probability so likelihood this is likelihood okay sir sorry this is likelihood so in the likelihood so the data set which is given some uh, data set likelihood data set for get from the hypothesis then this is prior probability which is given in the labels given in the calculated from the given labels prior probability and marginal probability marginal probability right so output hypothesis will be uh, considered as a highest posterior probability suppose if you are having uh, n number of n number of candidate hypothesis n number of candidate hypothesis the finite so we are having the three hypothesis 
okay from the hypothesis space we are having three hypotheses okay from that hi three hypotheses which is giving the maximal value which is giving the uh, optimal solution okay maximum value that maximum probability value will be calculated as a best value that best value is the maximal a posterior probability maximal a posterior probability but here you see we are having the three hypothesis okay finite hypothesis so we, we can calculate easily we can calculate easily but if i am having the 1 lakh 10 lakhs so in for the for calculating 10 lakhs hypothesis okay 10 lakh hypothesis then we need more computational power we need more computational power if there is the hype n more number of hypothesis uh, in the hypothesis space to to overcome this to overcome that we can go for brute force approach brute force approach so for in brute force approach uh, there is uh, three steps so here how to choose probability of uh, prayer uh, prayer probability probability of h and probability of b given h that should be consistent with the following assumptions okay so here you look at that we are having uh, formula in this formula we are having probability of b given h probability of h and probability of d so we have to choose we have to choose probability of h probability of d given h so for choosing that values that we have to consider that to be consistent with following assumption what is the assumption first one is the training sample should be noise free so when we are having the training samples like this right so here we are having the features here we are having the features okay features here we can say uh feature one feature two here the label here we are given the label that is called c okay so here we will have samples the samples here 0 0.5 0 0.2 here it will be a 0 uh, 0 0.1 0 0.3 it may be a 1 uh, 0 0.7 0 0.8 may be a 0 so this is called x1 sample x2 sample x3 sample okay so now this this data should be nice free this data should be nice free nice should not be available the target concept c is available in the hypothesis space h right then we have no prior reason to believe that any hypothesis is more probable than another here we are this hypothesis whatever hypothesis we are uh, we are guessing right initial solution we are guessing equally we are giving the uh, equally we are giving the priority so right we, we are not considering one is better than another we are not considering like that so how do we choose probability of h by using the brute force method uh, so given no prior knowledge because we are we are giving all hypotheses are uh, similar priority okay so given no prior no prior knowledge that one hypothesis is more likely than another okay so due to not having the knowledge about prior knowledge we are we are we are uh, equally uh, equally giving the importance to all the hypotheses so it is reasonable to assign same prior same prior probability to every hypothesis h in the hypothesis space so hypothesis space is having n number of hypothesis candidate hypothesis since target concept is assumed to be available in the hypothesis space we should require that this prayer probabilities sum to one okay because all the target concepts are available in the hypothesis space we assume that sum of prayer probability will be one so combine these constraints so here probability of candidate hypothesis prayer probability prayer probability of hypothesis equal to 1 divided by mod h mod h is this hypothesis space okay number of hypothesis available in the hypothesis space for example here 3 mod h is 3 so number of hypothesis available in the hypothesis space then how do we select the probability of likelihood data okay likelihood data given hypothesis value so here probability of d given h is 
observing the target values uh, d equal to d1 etc dm so each one is called here uh, the d1 so this is uh, d1 d2 d3 okay so the samples are called x1 x2 x3 samples are called x1 x2 x3 and target values are called d1 d2 d3 so here which is representing hypothesis h1 is the correct description of the target concept c assuming the training samples are not having the noise not having the noise so noise free training data uh, if it is so probability of likelihood data given hypothesis equal to 1 if the target value is equal to hypothesis of xi that means the target value you look at here the target value you take the d2 so d2 in this sample in this sample right uh, d2 is 1 okay and from the uh, this features 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 you will calculate you will calculate h of x2 h of x2 if it is 1 okay if both are equal okay if both are 1 then right if both are equal then it is 1 okay that is the correct hypothesis that means correct hypothesis if both are equal right for d uh, for d1 also d1 is 0 if h of x1 is also 0 then that is also will be denoted with 1 so if both are equal then it is 1 if it is mismatching that is mismatching okay if <coughs> if uh, d3 is 0 if h of x3 is 1 then it will become 0 here it will become 0 here that is called if correctly classified okay this is computation h of x means we are calculating we are calculating from the features d d i is already given okay this is label already given this is h of x i is calculated calculated from the features calculated from features okay so when you are calculating from the features if uh, you will get the predicted value the predicted value equivalent to target value means then the data is called consistent the data is called consistent if it is not matching then we are saying that is zero then it is called inconsistent it is called inconsistent once again i am repeating here if we are having the data set like this right here f1 f2 here labels okay labels so here d1 will be available okay 0 0.5 0 0.2 here 1 e, this is called x1 when you are calculating the hypothesis by using the features features are f1 and f2 then you are getting 1 okay your predicted value is calculated value is 1 already d1 is also 1 if both are equal okay if both are equal then it is called consistent this data sample is called consistent if h of x2 x1 is right not equal to d1 okay then it is called inconsistent it, inconsistent okay that is the zero okay so here how do we derive probability of d probability of d marginal probability probability of d can be calculated for all number of hypotheses okay sum of n number of hypothesis hi probability of d given h multiplied with probability of h so here we are using the version space summation of version space version space means suppose you look at here i am having the hypothesis space h1 h2 h3 right then from this from this h1 is consistent h1 is consistent h2 is consistent okay h3 is assume it is inconsistent inconsistent then from this we are going to derive version space version space will have only consistent hypothesis h1 and h2 which is ignoring the inconsistent hypothesis which is ignoring the inconsistent hypothesis so that is the thing whichever hypothesis are provide you here 
whichever uh, whichever hypothesis which provide you the incorrect misclassification we are ignoring that right uh, that's what given here probability of d uh, hypothesis which is belonging to the version space with respect to hypothesis and given data set denoted with one one consistent value means one one multiplied with one divided by number of hypothesis space consist number of hypothesis space and uh, hypothesis which is not belongs to version space because it is inconsistent inconsistent means zero from the previous slide we have calculated okay so you look at that h3 is not available in this version space so h3 is inconsistent h3 is inconsistent okay so it is not available in the version space okay version space okay so from that so this term will become zero then finally we are getting probability of d only the uh, data set which is consistent which is consistent so finally we can calculate the prob uh, probability of d from the version space divided by available number of hypothesis space Hi uh, number of hypothesis candidate hypothesis in the hypothesis space thanks for watching